My name is Stacy Jensen and I am from Colorvale. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Fireflies Sweet Fog and Starlight brushes in action. So this is a straight out of camera shot. You can see it's a Neff file. We are going to start with putting the light fog over the image. Um, to get that light fog, you just go ahead and press play. Once you have that, you do need to get a gradient brush. Very important to use a gradient brush, not a paint brush for this action. And just drag it from a corner and up. We're going to just add a few different variations of light in the image. Okay, so once we've done that, we've put the light in, the next thing that we need to do is make a new layer. We're going to grab um, our paint brush. You have installed the different uh, brushes that came with this set. And we are going to go with the 1100, which is a, um, a nice little starlight. The first thing that we do with this is change the color of the starlight. And what we're going to do is kind of grab um, a peach tone in here. And click OK. And we're going to click one time. Okay, so now we have the starlight. We can go ahead and turn the opacity down. And we're going to go somewhere in the 50 range. We can change this later. Next, we're going to get a new layer. We're going to get our 1300 brush, and this is just going to give us a nice light source. We're going to center it over the area that we want and hit one time. It does turn out bright at first. That's fine, you're just gonna come in and turn it to about 40% um, or so for this. So you've got a nice glow. The next thing you're gonna do is get a new layer, come over and start painting on your fireflies. We're gonna start with a bit larger of a firefly, so we're gonna go 1200. 37. We're going to get a firefly color that will work and that's really a fluorescent green and so we're just going to um, get something like that. I'm using a code 1CEC1A and click OK. And we're just going to paint over the area and let go. This is the background fireflies, so the, the light source is going to be a little larger. And what you do is turn the opacity down pretty far for the background fireflies. 37% is great. Don't worry about if you get it on the light source. You can just get your eraser and erase anywhere that you didn't want those. This is an important step so that it does look like they're placed exactly in the correct position. You're now going to make a new layer, get your paintbrush again, and go with the smaller um, fireflies. You're going to start painting over areas, and you can let go and start painting again. So I'm just clicking in various places, and again, it doesn't matter where these show up on the screen because you're going to take an eraser and erase off where you do not want them. So if you get two in a row and you don't like that, just go ahead and erase them and, um, and then put it back over to your paintbrush and start again. We can go ahead and um, turn the opacity down one more time. I'm going to make my brush size just a little bit smaller one more time make a new layer. I'm just going to a 400 or 500 size paintbrush and give myself just a couple little ones as well. Okay, and change these. You're making many different um, fireflies, many different opacities. Again, if you don't like them, you just simply go over it with an eraser on that area and choose what you 
do not want in what you do. You can keep layering with smaller, much smaller brushes every time to get a different look. And let's go ahead and get a paintbrush. Let's go with a 300. So you can see, you can just keep walking these fireflies down to the appropriate size that fits your image. Every image is going to require a different size paintbrush because your image size will be different. They always vary. So we're going to just paint a few more areas. And this is really just trial and error, becoming familiar with the brush, becoming familiar with how they stamp onto your image, and also going through and erasing where you don't like them so that they really take on the appearance of a natural, sporadic uh, mist of fireflies. So now we're just finishing up by erasing them where we don't want them. Anywhere that they came onto the image and stacked over something that you uh, don't want it to. And let's go ahead and we're just hiding our layers and showing our new layers. I like to stack this way so that if I don't like something, I can um, take it off. If I, I want to put it back on, change the opacity of it. It really helps you to get a really more natural feel by doing this. So we're just going to go ahead and turn down our larger to about an 18%. Showing and hiding gives you the ability to see where these are at. Erasing some so that I don't have too many here and there. And let's turn this percentage up. Again, it's just, it's just working with an image, seeing what fits, and um, erasing what doesn't. So anytime I see that I have a double. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps.